Welcome back to Lily's Crafty Corner. I'm Lily. Today I'm doing a haul from the Dollar Tree and or the Dollar 25 tree and Hobby Lobby. I haven't done one in a long time and I have purchased quite a few things recently that I keep saying, oh, I want to do a haul video, but I keep forgetting and I start using the things and Oh well, so today I decided that we'll definitely try and get this done prior to me using things. So the first th three things that I'm going to share with you are right here in front of us. The um, placemats, they have a nice feel to them from the Dollar Tree. And I bought 10, purchased 10 of them today. And the other nine are already in the um, my laundry basket. And this one will go once um, I finish with the uh, video. But I have to say, I absolutely love the buffalo check and that farmhouse look. The other thing is, I bought a total of four of these, two of each, Simply Blessed and Home Sweet Home. And they're these lovely mugs from the Dollar Tree. Now, I purchased some uh, maybe two, three years ago uh, that were the fall with the uh, pumpkins on them. And we use them constantly, and they're really holding up. They are dishwasher and di uh, microwave safe. So I did purchase four of these, and uh, I really thought that they were a cool um, purchase. And like I said, I've had such good luck with them that I just thought it would be fun to try the uh, black and white ones. The next thing I wanted to mention is because of being crafters, I like to make a lot of my own coffee stain paper or tea dyed. Tea dyed. And um, I usually get the coffee, the, the instant from... Uh, the Dollar Tree and they, I ran out. So this is what I purchased today so that I can start making my papers again. And then they had for Halloween, which I thought was awesome. They have these uh, witches brooms and three for a dollar and a quarter. And I really think it's a decent thing. I will say this. Once they, not everything, but a lot, especially the craft things, a lot of them have really um, stepped it up in the in the crafting world. With and these are good size. They're, uh, yeah, they're from tip to end. They're about twelve inches long, so they'll certainly work well in um, crafting. You know, in a DIY. And I do have some ideas for these already uh, and I'll just have to see how it all plays out because I do have some things that I can add these to these to them that are already uh, you know crafted then the other thing that they have are these great picks there's 20 a piece 20 pieces in them and they're the um, little ghosts now I did buy pumpkins I'm not even sure where I put them that, that I purchased prior and then these are the little acorns, and I thought that they would be a lot of fun to work with. Now, here's some ribbons that I picked up today. And this one in particular, I think should be a lot of fun. Uh, it's, I believe they're black jack-o'-lanterns on here. Oh, yes, they, no, they're skulls. And I just thought that was really cute. And for a dollar and a quarter, and it's there, uh, let me see, two yards. So, um, you know, at uh, 36 inches, yeah, two yards. So 36 inches, what is that, uh, 72? 72, uh, 36, uh, two yards, 36 inches. That'd be like 72 inches altogether. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and then I also have picked up this one here that's also, oh, this one's three yards. And it has the spider webs, which I just, I have a thing for spiders. Not in real life. 
uh, but it's definitely when it comes to Halloween. Here is this, actually it's a little tile and I really thought it was sweet. It had the uh, pickup truck with the bushels of flowers and it says make memories along the way. And that just kind of, and it looks like it has like um, barn siding or shiplap behind it. You can see the lines here and here is the like the wood back background. So I thought that was pretty cool. Also, they had these wooden um, or bamboo cutting boards. And, you know, I have, I have a ton of cutting boards. And I have one small wooden one that's a little smaller than this one and this and this size I thought is great. There's a lot of times I just really don't like getting out the larger cutting boards and when I'm doing fruits and vegetables, uh, you know, like for a small salad or something, um, it's really nice to have these. And so I picked up one of those for a dollar and a quarter. We'll see how it lasts. Um, I picked up, I'm only showing you one of each but I picked up several of these to do some Halloween crafting with these. And this one has a, a spider in the uh, flower. And this is just the black. And I just, I'm we're a big Halloween fan. So um, anyway, I've got a, a bunch of these, but I'm just, you know, just going to show you a couple of them. Then here's another project. That these are actually to cover, I guess, um, burners, like if you have an electric stove. I happen to have a gas, so of course it's not going to work for me. But it's, I love the black and white check, and it has family as everything, and it really looks kind of cool. And I would say this is supposed to be looking like you, they might have stitched it, like with a sewing machine. So I thought that's pretty cool. This one I'm going to use here in my craft room. I love my wine. I would have preferred if this had been a white wine, but it shows rosé, Malbec, which is also a nice wine, a red one, um, even though I'm not really a red drinker, but wine drinker. But I thought these were really nice, and I think they'll make nice wall hangings. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm just, yeah, here we go there. I think the plastic is, uh, and excuse the wrinkling. I know some people it bothers, but it never bothered me when I'm watching someone. So, oh no, this one got bent. Oh. Anyway, oh well, I didn't notice. I must have done it after I purchased it because it definitely wasn't bent when I bought it. Okay, that's. My, but I have the big one, so I can play with the big one anyway. And then this one, of course, is the, um, and this one seems fine the black and white one. Okay, let me just uh, put this stuff here. We'll get rid of it in a bit. Um, oh, here's the other thing that I found. These hands. Actually, I'm working on uh, a few Halloween uh, journals for swaps, and I plan on using these hands um, for my in my covers and uh, you know a few little things like you know over the side here I'll show you and I thought these were cool twenty for a dollar and a quarter eh, I think that's a pretty good deal and I'm just thinking how cool they'll look especially if they're coming out you know behind something so I like spooky we're like I said we're really big into Halloween our family okay then I have a project for these uh, for the baby uh, newborn sockies um, this one is just it's for baseball we're a baseball family and uh, this one says MVP and uh, we have a new baby coming into the family so I'm going to be making a journal regarding the uh, for the mom so it's going to be fun and that's going to be part of it. I needed a new mirror to stick in my pocketbook. I was hoping to find one that was more like a compact at the Dollar Tree. I did not. And I spent a, probably a little bit more time <laughs> looking for it than I should have today. 
But anyway, it is what it is. Here we go. And I don't know about anybody uh, about anybody else, but once my hair gets a little bit long, just before I, I need to get a haircut, the back kind of separates. So I like to be able to check it out. So I put this in my um I'm gonna put this in my pocketbook so that when I'm out and about I can kind of check to make and fix it and my hair separates. And this is just another one of those things. And then this I bought, I have a um uh, several fall wreaths and what's kind of neat about it is that um, I thought I could take the twine off this and then attach it to my fall wreath um, to you know jazz it up or bring it up a little bit and I thought this was I love this happy fall you all of course I'm a New Yorker so to me the you know the all thing isn't um, you know up here however um, I just thought it was really cute and thought I would use that. Now we're going to get in. Oh, here's one other thing I just purchased. You know, when you're in the shower, um, I did have like shave cream in the shower, but I thought the gel might be a little better to use and um, see how that works out. And I'm hoping I'm not allergic to it. Now, the things that I got at Hobby Lobby. Oh, this fell out. Um, fell out from that. I bought, I have like three rolls of this already. The black and white check from uh, the Dollar Tree. And again, it's the three yards, but I use it on everything. So I had to get another one. And when I went to Hobby Lobby, they had a lot of the things that I might have been interested, they were already out of. But these were 50% off, so at 69 cents, what does that make it? Um, oh gosh, 33 cents a sheet. And what I was really looking for, which I found, I wanted background paper. So uh, for, you know, to do more things for Halloween and the fall. So I had these two and I bought these two. I really think they're cool and I love the check. And at 33 cents a piece, I thought, well, well, it's more than 33. Because half of uh, nine is really, what, four and a half? So 35 cents, we'll say. Anyway, then I have these. Oh, well, actually, I bought four of these for Christmas background. I run out of background paper. That's a big thing for me. I'm always running out of background paper. Now, let me see. I purchased this today, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's a, for a baby boy. The new baby that's coming into the family is going to be a boy. So let me see if I can get some of that glare off that. But anyway, it's from the paper studio, and it's baby. It's for a baby boy. And it was not on, oh, yes, it was on sale because it is Paper Studio, so it was $3, and it has a lot of die cuts. So I thought, and here's the back showing some of the things. Here, let me get better into the screen. Yes, so I'm sorry for the glare. There, we got some of it off. I just don't want to take everything out. Here, let me pull this up. And, oh, here, this was the thing that I was probably the most excited about in the paper. I love vellum, and this is printed vellum, and it's music paper, and I bought four of those. Now, they were a dollar a piece, so 99 cents, so they came to 50 cents a piece, which was, is fine. I'm, ex I'm happy with that. These were 50% off, and they're the little, um, so that they were definitely a dollar, they were a dollar, and I thought you get nine, uh, one, two, three, 12, 12 for a dollar, so that's cool. Um, this I pick, picked up and actually it was a dollar. It ended up being a dollar and I almost put it back because I realized as I'm standing on the checkout line that this is really larger than I wanted, but it's okay. And then it has the second stencil on the back that shows the give thanks, but I, I know I can still, I mean, I do have use for it. Now, the other thing that I purchased today was the parchment paper. And this I will. 
And the reason I saw it is that I have I have many background stamps. I shouldn't say many, but several. And I have the ones that are Tim Holtz, you know, with the background with the writing on them. And when I do journals, I was thinking how nice this parchment paper would be to put the, um, the background stamps on and to stamp on them. And they're different colors. And the weight of the paper is decent. It's not too heavy. I didn't want it to be heavy. It's 65 pound weight, which is the 176 uh, GSM. Now I do, there's a lot of times I try to get the 200 or better, but this I wanted to be um, more medium weight and it's, it's gonna be great for the journals. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good journal weight. Then I'm always going through black paper uh, I like to, when I make cards, I know a lot of people put them on white backgrounds. I don't like white backgrounds. And this one is also the 65, one, uh, 76 GSM. And what I like is that I didn't want it too much heavier because I like to make my own um, envelopes. And I do run off the addresses, so it doesn't matter. I don't have to worry about writing on black. But... Um, when I make the cards, when, once you start layering up, they layer, layering them up, they do, um, you know, it thickens it up. Then I found these little, uh, scarecrows. Aren't they adorable faces? I am doing a sewing journal in one of my group, one of my groups, and I was looking for some sewing things to add to the journal. And I found them today in Hobby Lobby. Now, they weren't necessarily um, on sale. However, they were um, priced right. So, these were $1.99, and they're cute. They're um, magnets, but they're like bookmarks. And I just like the fact that it had a sewing machine and, the, you know, the different patchwork scissors and so forth. And then I wanted some safety pins. I didn't have any decent safety pins. I had some rusted ones, but um, in some of my journals, I do like the rusted ones, but not in this particular one. And then I found some plastic um, thimbles. And again, it's not necessarily to use, but to, um, you know, just to be there. Then I thought this will be cute addition. Eat, sleep, and sew. I liked that. And then I, yes, oh, then I bought this handmade one. It says, um, with love in everything, made with love with everything. So I thought that was cute. I'd add that to the thing for my partner, whoever that may be, the recipient. I'm not sure yet. They haven't partnered us. I know there was one other thing. I, oh, yes. And I bought a miniature um, sewing kit to add to that. Um, and that was $1.99. I found these lovely napkins, which I love to decoupage my napkins. I'm always doing that with my um, altering playing cards or whatever, making journal cards. And I just love, again, the black with the um, sunflowers right up my alley. Then I found these were all 50% off. So at $3.49, $1.50, $1.75. And you get um, 15 pieces of the those and then 15 of these. And then for the baby journal, I have these little ducks. And these were half off too, so that was cool. And I found these. These were $2.99, so then they're like $1.50. There's only five, but I, they're... Um, I want to say um, they're not they're not silicone, but they're you know they're heavy. They're not paper. And then here's some more button fishy buttons for that baby journal. And look at these; they were five ninety nine, so they ended up being three dollars. But there's forty eight of those little 
uh, sunflowers. And again, I go through them like crazy. I've been making some, but I thought for the price, what the hey. And then also I found ribbon that's a uh, measuring tape, which is really cute. So I can put that in my journal. And then I found another um, gingham, but this is red. And I love the fact that it's um, a thinner ribbon you know i used to buy a lot of i buy i have a lot of ribbon that's thick you know like like two and a half three inches and i really don't use it so it kind of upsets me that um i have it and i haven't really have uses for it so and then the other thing i bought were these watercolor brushes i just ordered tim holtz's new the three sets i got them at jo on joggles.com and the reason i purchased them from there they were twenty dollars a set and um which was 1997 or something and with the um and because it came to over fifty dollars i had half off on my shipping so they'll be here in a day or two but i thought that these would be fun to use i have the one Tim Holtz one, these aren't Tim, Tim Holtz. They didn't have any Tim Holtz there. And I really didn't want to go online. And these I don't think are as sturdy as the ones that, yeah, their brushes are a little bit softer. But um, I'm hoping that it's, um, the one that Tim Holtz has, the mechanism in it keeps it from the stuff flowing the water coming out too fast so I'm hoping these will be okay and then I'm doing another project with a ceramic piece that um it's making one of those rusted um pickup trucks and the thing is about this size and I wanted to make one for myself and one for my daughter to put plants in you know throughout the year but the thing was I've been having a problem finding the right um spray bottles so I'm hoping that these will work because I've had others that just didn't fit the bill. And then, of course, I'm always running, I'm using eyelets all the time in my journaling. So I needed some more of those. And, oh, this is the fabric I bought for the journal that I'm making for that new baby that's coming to our family. And I got a half a yard of this, and this is going to be for the cover. And I'm going to stuff the cover so that it'll be padded. It'll be a lot of fun. And then I got the, I hope you can see these. They're angels, but they're kind of glossy. So I'm not sure how they're going to show up. And I just shook that a little bit. But anyway, that's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I did get a lot of stuff today. Oh, and I almost forgot this. This is the Tim Holtz. It's clippings. But I think this is a newer one because it's um, the ones I have. And I think they might either even be the same um, sayings in them. But, you know, they're in the black and the white. And I thought these were cool because they're more uh, grungy. Not really grungy, but, um, you know, they have more color to them. They're not as stark white. And, I, and sometimes it's, it just annoys me with my hands when I try to ink them up. So I thought, you know what? Let's just go for the gold. Well, anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, if you like this, please um, give me a thumbs up. And if you have a nice comment about my um, video, I would appreciate it. And all I can say is till the next time. Thanks.